Okay, let's keep going. Uh, so now we've got the patient, assess them, uh, optimize them. We've thought about their risk-benefit profile in the worst case scenario, because the other stuff's pretty easy, and then consent. And you know, fortunately, Ansker has a document on this, which pretty much says something very similar to this. So everyone's got their way of saying things. I thought I'd just offer this as a very quick way uh, to give you something to hang your, you know, hang your knowledge on. So I'll say common things include pain, nausea, vomiting, and a sore throat. There's a small chance of dental damage, and that's unlikely. I mentioned that because that's the most litigious thing that has occurred in, in anesthesia history. Um, and then I mentioned serious life-threatening events are very unlikely. I put that in perspective by saying overall having this anesthetic is probably safer than driving a car on the roads every year in Australia. So, you know, something that they most people would do without even a thought, most anesthetics are safer than that. So that's, I mentioned that's life, it could be life threatening, that's material, but I also anchor it to something that they do in real life. Um, and then if they, and I'd say, would you like me to go through these risks or anything in more detail? It gets a little bit more compl complicated if patients are genuinely as bad as those last few patients we talked about. Uh, so I may want to include serious events, include this and this and this, particularly, you know, when I'm focusing on the patient's specific problems, you know, heart, lung issues, brain issues, drug reactions, allergies, and awareness. And you'll find a massive spectrum of what consultants can send people on um, and you'll get your own vibe. And this is just something that you can use uh, in the future if you need to.